Today I'm going to overclock this Baldwin looking graphics card, the GTX 1070 by EVGA, the Extreme Gaming with RGB, which looks pretty badass by the way, but let's see how much it overclocks. So today as you guys can maybe tell I'm doing this just on my ultra wide monitor and my second monitor over here as well. Um, because I'm not really going to be, uh, I mean, basically, I, I've tested the it GTX 1070 at 4K. It's pretty good at 4K. Some people in my comments have told me that it's not for 4K Ultra. Well, depending on the game, it actually is. Uh, it's a, GTX 1070 is a great card. GTX 1080 is even better. Uh, and actually, I have a 1060 on the way. It'll be coming right after they make this video. So that'd be pretty cool as well. So we'll see if that thing can run 4K. It could probably run 4K at least medium settings, honestly. I really bet... Uh, but uh, anyways, so so we're just gonna do it on the ultra wide today. No 4k But we're just gonna see how much I can get this over thing this thing overclocked uh, I'll try to use some of your guys fucking tips. Uh, I, I get so many dislikes on my videos sometimes. I swear to god I'm not even overclocking that poorly. I feel like I could do way worse and I just get some people shitting on me But I mean it's YouTube. So it's really that unexpected Eh, not really I guess but uh, this graphics card looks balling as you can maybe just see like a little smidge of it like right there um, man, does that thing look cool? Just like it cycles through all the colors and everything and it's pretty fucking sweet. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom into MSI Afterburner. A lot of people are telling me use EVGA Precision and uh, you know, that's cool and everything, but EVGA Precision only works on EVGA cards, which is total horseshit by the way. So uh, using MSI Afterburner because I can't use uh, EVGA Precision. We're going to go ahead and start off with just uh, doing the uh, power limit and temperature limit raising that up to max because uh, there's really no reason not to from what I've seen. So you might as well do that. Go ahead and apply those settings and uh, we'll go ahead and play some Dirt Rally and uh, get like a baseline testing. So uh, actually something really cool about Dirt Rally is uh, it actually works at ultra wide resolution which is pretty sweet. A lot of games I've been noticing don't do that, at least natively. And I wonder if this is actually native because some of them they just like crop to make them ultra wide. But anyways, so uh, our settings are complete maxed maxed out for Dirt Rally. Probably should turn down audio just a smidge. And actually drive, probably. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, actually, this looks great at ultra-wide resolution. Uh, if you guys don't know about my monitor, I have a review about it. Shit. Uh, we got this. But, um, very good monitor. Resolution is basically 1080p ultra-wide. So, 2560 by 1080, I think. Uh, but anyway, it looks beautiful. Uh, settings at, compl at uh, the absolute max that I could do it for this game, and I'm getting uh, temperature 59 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, core clock of 20 or 2 gigahertz, 2 2 1025 megahertz. Kind of difficult to say that sometimes. And uh, have an FPS of around 120. Very very cool. Even though I wish this monitor was like a 144 hertz monitor, they look fucking sweet then. But, um, yeah, very fucking cool. Uh, looks like the graphics card is, you know, running a pretty good temperature. And... I'm not doing that bad, I feel like. Oh. We got this. Alright. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the graphics card is running a very good temperature. And, uh, you know, only being around uh, 61 degrees now. So, uh, not warming up too much. Oh, I lost my wheel. Aw, oh, shit, dog. Whoops. This car is running around like crazy. But uh, hopefully you guys are excited about the... Uh, I'm getting the EVGA FTW 1060 coming in pretty soon. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. Uh, so now we have pretty much a baseline. Uh, getting FPS, you know, between like 100 and 120. Sometimes 130 if we're like looking at nothing, I guess. But uh, pretty damn cool, y'all. I'm still a shitty driver, but uh, we're getting 2,025 megahertz and 120 FPS, let's check out uh, what we can do by overclocking this biznatch. So people tell me I need to overclock even slower than I actually am, uh, and they've also told me I have to change the voltage, which looks like it's not gonna change. And I believe I have the newest version of MSI Afterburner, so... Uh, I can't really change the voltage, I guess. So, yeah, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to go and change the core clock. People have told me that memory clock changing, I guess, is useless. I still want to change it a little bit. I mean, it's an option there, goddammit, so I want to change it a little bit. Uh, we'll start off with uh, 30 for the core clock, and uh, we'll just do 15 
or the uh, memory clock. And if you don't like that, then go fuck yourself. By the way, I still plan on getting Battlefield 1. I feel like that's going to be a kind of a better game to benchmark than this game, honestly. Uh, probably just because I suck at this, and I'm actually pretty decent to add uh, first-person shooters. Uh, but uh, just wanted to say that. I don't know. I wish I didn't have to pay for games that I'm just going to benchmark. Uh, anyways, so yeah, we uh, we uh, got our core clock up 30 and the memory clock up 15. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, we're getting a core clock right now of two or 20, 50 megahertz. I think it already started off at uh, 20, 56 or something, but that's probably uh, based on power because uh, the temperature is only 60 degrees Celsius. Very cool. That big ass cooler, which uh, I don't really think it looks the best. I love the RGB on it, but it doesn't look fantastic. Uh, definitely keeps this card very toasty, or very uh, cool, not toasty. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's probably why you all are going to dislike the video, right? Uh, but, uh, so, uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, our FPS is uh, pretty much in the same general area, but although we didn't really overclock it that much. Uh, still getting like 120, 130 sometimes. Pretty cool stuff. Let's overclock it a little bit more, motherfuckers. No, inst no instability now. But uh, we'll see if we can get this thing to maybe 2.1 gigahertz. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's the farthest I've ever got a uh, Pascal card. Let's see if it happens, y'all. Hit some trees. I fucked up the car. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go follow your guys' advice and do little bitty steps. Going up 45 now. And we're not even going to touch the memory because you guys say it's useless. So if it's useless, then uh, I guess I'm not going to do it. So now we raise up the core clock 45, like I said. We're getting a memory or a core clock of 2076 to start off. 2063 already went down to though. It's shoo, I fucked up those people. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it already went down a little bit. Once again, I think it's just based on power delivery. Uh, I think this card has what an eight pin and a six pin, I believe. Uh, so maybe that could be picks could be fixed by giving it two eight pins, but I don't know. Oh uh, shit. Sorry, crowd. Sorry, dude. <laughs> so, uh, our FPS is really good, though. Uh, it looks like right now I'm getting, like, a minimum of, like, uh, 110. And earlier on, I was getting a minimum of, like, 100. So that's kind of cool. Getting our average closer to 130 FPS, which uh, is very smooth. I feel like this card would be definitely great at, at uh, if you're doing, like, VR at, like, some... What What is the resolution of VR? I don't even know, but... I mean, if it was something like 1080p, you definitely have that... I think you have to have, like, 90 FPS for it to really feel right, you know, with VR. I think this would definitely be very great. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, the GTX 1070 is a very powerful card. So we'll see if this thing can uh, overclock a little bit more. We're at uh, 2063 now, after it went down a little bit. Let's see if we can get that to 2.1. I think in the menus I can hear just a tad bit of coil whine, although we're getting 400 FPS, so, uh, kind of expected, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the graphics card right now is running at 20, or 2088 megahertz, 2088 megahertz, however you want me to say that. Uh, we went ahead and popped up the, uh, MSI Afterburner to, uh, to 60 for the core clock. It's pretty cool. We're, uh, we're very close to 2.1 gigahertz, and it still looks stable, which is uh, pretty damn badass as, as well. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if I can really tell anything. Because this graphics card still isn't getting hot. I mean, I'm only doing, like, small sessions. You know, I'm only doing, like, you know, like, two minutes of gameplay to see what it runs at, see if it's stable and stuff like that. And uh, this graphics card hasn't gone above, like, 62 through all, all this. Which uh, just seems really damn awesome. Even if I didn't change the like the the temperature limit, uh, I wouldn't even get close to. Uh, I think the temperature limit's like 84 or something like that. I wouldn't even get close to that at all, which is a uh, very cool shit. Sorry, ciao. Oh, I killed your crowd. Uh, so uh, temperature right now 61 degrees. Core clock dropped a little bit once again. It's 2,076 megahertz. Very very nice. We're getting close to 2.1 gigahertz, and. Uh, our uh, lows, I don't know, our frame rates, you know, ticked up a little bit. We're getting close to 140 sometimes. It's still dropping down to 100 sometimes if I really fuck up. So, uh, see if we can go a little bit higher. Yeah.
So I'm, skip, I'm sticking with my theme of uh, pumping it up 15 megahertz at a time. And we're at two, uh, two okay, wait, 2.1 gigahertz, basically. 2,101 megahertz. I always have trouble saying that. But, of course, right as soon as we load up the map, then we go back down to 2088 megahertz. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and play a little bit and see if it's stable. By the way, while I'm uh, racing here, I'm going to show you guys something. I have this game, Roller... Wait, wait, Sim, Sim Coaster. Uh, kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Any of you guys interested with me playing this? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's hit or miss with you guys liking my, uh, my old Windows games that I'm playing. Like the Windows 95 games and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested about that, let me know about that in the comment section below. Uh, and, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna like playing that. That's another one of those games I played when I was like a little kid. I liked it a lot, but uh, let me know what you guys think. So yeah, our FPS is pretty good. Uh, temperature did go up to 62. Oh snap, this thing is overheating. Uh, JK. Uh, alright, we got this. Yeah, let's get out of here. This car is actually pretty fast. Uh, so... <laughs> 28, 2088 megahertz. I think one more time we bump it up. We'll be to 2.1 gigahertz, bitches. Woo! Yeah, fuck this shit up. Well, I think we found the limit of this graphics card. It's uh, 2.1 gigahertz. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah. So, I'll go ahead and zoom you guys into MSI Afterburner. I've, I've already tried booting it twice and uh, it just freezes. Uh, the first time it almost made it to the race, but yeah, as you can see, the core clock, I raised it up 90 megahertz, and in memory, I uh, did 15. I think it's all she wrote, everybody. Uh, I can't change that core voltage, as you can see, it's all grayed out, so yeah. Power limit and voltage, or uh, power limit and, uh, and the it's temperature limit, right? I don't know. Computer's like fucking frozen because fucking graphics card. Uh, <laughs> so that's how much it overclocks. Um, if you guys have any complaints about it, uh, you can deliver it to my asshole and shut the fuck up. So you guys, <laughs> I hate to like be like an asshole, but like, God, so many dislikes, like 60 dislikes, like, fuck off, like, God damn it, like, <laughs> go suck a dick. Anyways, thank you guys, well, for, for all you good people, thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know, if you get the Gigabyte, uh, you know, Extreme Gaming GTX 1070, it's fucking great. Uh, stays very cool. Um, I think just 2.1 gigahertz is honestly just the limit for Pascal cards, unless you get like super lucky with the silicone lottery or whatever. Or maybe if you over, maybe, maybe if you water cool, I guess, maybe, but I really don't think it's temperature, temperature, uh, limited. I think it's, uh, voltage or, uh, power, I don't know, something like that, you know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Dirt Rally is still fucking frozen. There we go. And uh, if you guys want to drop a like in the video, let me know about it, uh, or I guess do that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all.